hey guys good morning how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing wonderful welcome to this beautiful cooking channel i try to post videos on it at least two to three times a week but you guys know my situation the pregnancy is really dealing with me <laughs> so um it just i don't get motivated sometimes and sometimes i'm in the mood i just want to like do a lot of things like this morning now you guys look at the bomb <laughs> <laughs> I never really showed the bombs um, on my other channel, but you guys get to see the bump now here. <laughs> yeah, it's really getting bigger and bigger, and uh, it's so tiring as well. Anyway, um, I mean, like, I'm out of breath, so I'm always tired. So, this morning, I want to vlog on here on this cooking channel because I'm going to be doing some house chores around my house and I want to carry you guys along. You guys, I don't know what to do with my hair. I don't know what to do. I really want to cut it, but my husband is like, don't you cut it. <laughs> my husband gets so mad when I even bring it up. Like, I want to chop this hair off. He's like, I told you not to say that again. Don't even think of it. So I'm like, okay, because there's this say that said that if you're going to have a baby girl and you cut your hair, you might not the baby might not have no hair when it comes to the word so that's why it's like no i want my baby to have hair because both of our baby our daughters they have lots of hair especially my first daughter so we're just gonna put this away i know god is gonna show me what to do to this hair son so i'm hiding in the kids bathroom um yeah i want to carry you guys along i want to organize my kitchen my house because of the way I am and how I've been feeling, I've not really sought my house out. We just moved in here and that's pretty much about it. And like our furniture is still on backup order. So I'm gonna be here until March or April they said. So and it's like that. Everything that we order for this house, except from the kids' bed and our bed, everything came on time. But the rest of the furniture that we ordered are like backup order. So that's why and oh let's clean this sorry you guys i don't even know if i've been clear talking to you guys and this camera they sent me another one i haven't received it yet so because it get blurry you guys experienced that before it get blurry when i put it on tripod but anyway you guys i'm out of breath <laughs> that's the kids making noise i am going to go downstairs so we can start organizing um, our pantries, fridge, everything. We don't have pantries because we have a lot of cabinets. Oh, is it big? Alec, is it big? Yeah. Anyway, so what's going on? You're crying. Malik spit on Malika's outfit. How can you spit? That spit? No. Ew. Anyway, so. I told right. to slap. Okay, so what I'm saying is, sorry, what I'm saying. What I want to show you guys is this thing that I ordered from Amazon. Let me show you. I ordered this from Amazon, and it's like um, it's got, it says chef's pot, so where you can put all your pot, cereal, dry foods, pretty much cookies. I'm seeing all that stuff here: beans, pasta, rice, da da da, all of that. So. Um, I'm gonna start organizing because we have a lot of things in our pantries. Because we have a lot of cabinets. We don't have pantries, as in the walking pantries. Because we don't need it. I don't need it, it's just gonna create mess. We have a small door over there. <laughs> kind of like a pantry. But we just keep a lot of stuff in there. What? What's going on? Look at yourself in the camera. That's more like eating eggs with mm -hmm. eggs. But anyway, you guys, so I'm gonna start putting all the stuff with the help of my son and my daughters they're gonna help me they're having breakfast now i haven't had breakfast and um if you are how do i say if you follow me on my vlog channel i've been putting out all the pregnancy when i found out about my pregnancy so there's no really um vlog there right now just i'm putting out all the pregnancy vlog how i found out how i told my husband the one going out today or tomorrow is gonna be 
telling my kids and after that telling my it's just gonna be a pregnancy vlog over there so if you're not following me on vlog channel how i find out how i was pregnant how i told my husband you're missing out go to my vlog channel at the family and subscribe and watch but over here we're gonna be doing a lot of organizing homemaking videos cook videos clean with me all of that on here so please stay tuned um let's start because i have a bit of energy before my energy dropped I plan to model my clothing. Oh yeah, you guys, I want to show you guys my jewelry collections. These are in stock, you guys. If you're interested, we have different kinds. This one just landed and I so much love it. So I was like, I want that one before it sold out because once I advertise it, people are gonna be on it. And one thing I like about my jewelry set is that you can, you can layer them. You see how they come in different sizes? You can layer them. And these are all pure Brazilian gold. See what I mean? Like they will never tarnish. I build with this all the time. And this one is also Brazilian gold. I've had this for over a month. Will never tarnish. You can see. And these ones are real gold. They're like the Italian gold. Everything is real gold. It's just that different. Like there's Dubai gold. There's Italian. There's Brazilian. So this one is a Brazilian gold. So if you like anything I'm wearing, just message me on the number showing. And it will be yours. Okay. Enough talking. Let's get into cleaning and organizing i'm hoping this is not gonna get blurry because every time and also i want to see if i can i think yeah i turned the right thing okay so uh i hope it's not gonna get blurry if you get blurry just i apologize so what i'm gonna do right now is we are taking everything out oh wow it even comes with like a labeling this one is actually good maybe i'm gonna try to link it in the comment section so it comes with labeling so you can put your items in here Wow. Okay, so what we're gonna do is let's let's organize it first. guys i really don't know what we recorded but we we're just doing our own thing we put all the dry um grains in the containers and we put them i'm gonna show you guys it wasn't something special honestly because i'm getting tired and out of breath but the kids helped me out because at one point i was just feeling so i was feeling kind of like cramp in my stomach so i had to sit down so now we're moving to the fridge of course my liquor is going to help me so i bought all these containers as well from amazon the first one that we use this one they like making craft out of it i'm not really impressed because i thought they were big but they're very very small like tiny so i'm not really happy with that but i just we just put what we had to put in there and just put them away so now i want to do my fridge i want to organize this fridge somehow so i don't know how but we're going to do this so, Malik, hmm? 
Should we just, I'm thinking I'm going to put it ginger on one side. Pepper is going to be one side. I think we need more containers. Pepper is. How I'm going to like organize them? Okay, so I emptied out all, everything in my fridge. Sorry, I just finished eating. So I emptied out everything in my fridge. I'm going to use this multi-purpose cleaner to um, wipe it down. It's non-toxic and it's good for uh, pregnancy women uh, ready to use. So I'm going to use this. And I'm going to be using this, uh, this microfiber cloth, even though I don't like microfiber, but I'm going to use it. Baba 
Okay, so you guys, I want to show you guys the fridge. It's better than what it was before. Um, I have these fruits here so my kids can actually see the fruits and they're nice and washed and they can actually eat it all instead of like yeah. hiding somewhere at the back of the fridge. And also, because my kids eat lots of fruits and they love varieties of fruits. Also, my husband, I'm not a big fruit eater. I only like, I like um, pineapple a lot. My kids eat lots of oranges and cranberries and stuff. And is this spoy? No, I thought it was spoy. It's not spoy, it's just dry. Um, these I use in my water, the lime and the lemon. I use in my waters a lot. And we have some, what is this called? Um, beets right here. Um, I also use this. I cook, like sometimes I bake things, just you know, fruits. And they're like the big ones, they can't really fit in here. So I just left them in here. And there's one apple left. I'm gonna buy more apples. And here is uh, what is this called? Lila, what is this called again? My brain is freezing. Pomegranate. pomegranate. This is pomegranate. And because they're big, so they can fit in here perfectly. And wow. yeah. So it's just nice and organized, and this is our, our leftover cooked food, rice and some stew, orange juice, eggs, um, strawberries and grapes, oranges, um, dairy stuff on the side of a, over here. We don't have a lot of dairy stuff, just yogurt, cheese, and we have some sliced turkey and also um, uh, hot dogs. And over here are condiment, condiments. <laughs> A condiment and there's not a lot of condiments just um maple syrup coffee delight and some tomatoes milk cream all of that just put them here because there's not really where to put them and this is already a space for pop sometimes during this pregnancy i pray for pop but i stopped craving for them so they're just here um once in a while my kids would drink it with mommy but they're just here i don't drink them anymore there was time I, I think around like 10 weeks i was really craving for pop like pepsi especially nothing else just pepsi so we went and loaded up and i didn't drink it didn't even last for two days and i stopped craving so um and just the main is here and that's pretty much everything in this fridge just want to show you a review it's really nice and organized honestly and um over here is where I have all our, you know, vegetables and stuff. I have some dry fish over here. I really want to move it closer so you guys can see. So these are the dry fish. Um, some kale. I blend this in my smoothies when I drink smoothies. In the morning, some carrots. I crave for carrots a lot. Sometimes I just peel it and I start eating it. I don't even blend it or anything. I just eat it like that. And also cucumbers. And this is locust beans here. Um, my when I was uh, around eight weeks, seven weeks, I was craving for locust beans with vegetable. So my mom sent more for us. So now I stop craving for it. It's just crazy. Some cabbage here, celery here for juice and peppers we need to buy more peppers but this is all we have i put some leftover gingers here and green onions here and that's it and the freezer i'm not even going there because everything in there is frozen so we're going to think about what we want to cook because i don't know what we want to cook and then we're going to start cooking it's going to be another phase of this video so we're going to start cooking 
which I don't know what we're gonna cook, but something we're gonna come. All up. right, so you guys, I am going to be cooking a goosey stew. All of a sudden, I started craving a goosey. I was just watching something on TikTok, and I saw this couple eating a goosey soup and pando, and I started craving for it. So I have some goat meat right here. I'm gonna be adding this chicken wings. They are tough chicken, so they can cook with the goat meat. And I'm gonna season it. Um, I'm gonna season it, cook it. Hopefully, I'm still craving for it. By the time I finish cooking it, my husband is gonna help me cook it, so I will not be tired of it by the time he's ready to eat. So I'm making a lot, so I can keep them in. I can keep it in the fridge. All right. So I have the meat right here. So let me stove. chicken golden powder and I'm going to be using crayfish I like to use crayfish in my um, goat meat and chicken when I'm boiling it okay and of course I'm gonna use some salt and I'm gonna be slicing some onions into it So that makes it a little bit more money, more than I do. So I'm going to be able to cook. Oh, we're wrong. Let me show you guys. This is it. is it so it's gonna cook for the next probably one and a half to two hours and we'll take it from there my husband just got back from african store and he bought this um fresh bitter leaf oh it's fresh so they haven't washed it yeah it's fresh so and we can't use it it's still completely frozen we got some yam Okay, I was craving for yam like two hours ago. Fried yam and stew. I was craving for it really bad. I'm like, ah, fried yam and stew. Oh yeah, can you buy yam? You know when I bought three. So, but I'm still craving for it. Probably for dinner, I will have that. I don't know. I'm going to be blending my peppers now. And I'm using like, three bell peppers I 
okay you guys so how many of you guys have tried this bitter leaf like the frozen one i don't know where they're from i know they're from of course africa nigeria ghana wherever they're from but if you ever get these kinds ones do you boil them do you is it already washed i'm going to try to taste it now to make sure that i'm not putting just bitterness if it's too bitter, I'm not going to use it. Malik! Come. Aye! No, no, no. 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 No, no, yeah, but once you fall, 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 once you Bro, I think that's true. Mm. Oh, yeah, I No. Hey, I'm not about it. I think that's true. 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 I think Bro. Sorry, I have a goosey here. I'm going to add some sauce from my sauce that I'm cooking. I'm going to add it into it so I can make it into bowl and set it on the side. I'm not going to put it right now because I'm just adding the meat now. But this is how my mama showed me how to make a goosey if you want it in bowls. Just add the sauce to it. This is not a tutorial. Is it a tutorial you call it? It's not a cooking tutorial or anything. You had a sauce like this, you mix it, it's still kind of hot. You mix it and then if you want it into balls, yeah, like that. Oh, it's very hot. I'm just gonna set this on the side when it's cooled down and when I'm ready to like put it in the stew, then I'll make it into balls. One little billy in the Zikiran, a baki member, the Asaba, Ayaka Pila to Mala, Ayaka Pila to Mala, Ayaka Pila to Mala, a baki rock, Ulla Baraya, Ulla Limona, while a toya, the service will go to Ayaka Pila to Mala. Ayaka Pila to Mala Ayaka Pila to Mala Yudiki Rabul Baraya Ula Limona Wali Atoya Okay, so guys, I 
used a little bit of the bitter leaf. I'm not using everything because it's still bitter. I don't want to take any chances because I tried that before and the whole soup was really bitter. So I had to throw it out. So I learned my lesson that time. So I just used a little bit and I'm going to be using kale. What is all the rest of this water? Okay, I'm going to be using some of this kale that I have in my fridge. It's not a lot, but I'm just going to like finally Adding my egg goosey now. I just pick it up like that in a bowl like that. And I just add it all over this too. something that we've never done before. I've seen it all over TikTok. My subscribers have suggested it to me to try. If you follow me, you know that I always make my pande yam from scratch, like the powder, cook it, and it always takes a lot of my energy. Now that I'm pregnant, I want to try the, the yam way, like the way it is back home, but without pounding. We're going to peel the yam, we're going to cook the yam, we're not going to put any salt in anything, we're just going to cook it straight. And we're going to put it in a ninja blender and we're going to blend it to see how it turns out. I'm hoping it turns out good because I don't have that energy to like make pando on the stove. Big cut on. Oh, right here. So my son is going to, he volunteered to like cut the yam. And he's going to cut the yam and I'm going to cook it. Let me just wash the pan. Okay, you guys, I'm going to check on my goosey now. Ooh, can you guys see it? Ooh, it's looking so good. Ah, I need to show you guys. I must to show you guys. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sorry, you guys. I really want to show you guys. So, this is the goosey I go see you. Um, eh. Say something, say something. Oh, Santo, oh, Santo. I go see you like me now. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. My lick, I don't like my food and stuff. Oh, perfect. Okay, so our yam is ready. We are going to be blending yam in here. Ah, see, you see, I can see. Yeah. Yes, you know. Hey, I'm excited. I want to see how it goes. Me too. I'm excited. Malika, are you excited? Leila, are you excited for this? Yeah. Oh. We're gonna blend it. Mm. Oh my god! In your go go. <laughs> In your go go. Oh my goodness, you guys! Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh. Our stew is ready. I'm gonna show you guys in a second what I'm about to do. The goosey is looking so good, you guys.
Shabbat shalom. 